So uh, welcome to our talk. I'm Vincent de Mister from Red Hat, obviously. And I'm Andrea Fritkoli from IBM. Uh, so we're going to talk about dog footing, and we decided to use the Mario theme because our dog footing project is called Plumbing, and what Mario does is plumbing. So the agenda will go quickly on what is Tekton. Uh, hopefully, people know a little bit about Tekton, or at least a little bit about, about how Kubernetes works, because otherwise it's going to be a little bit hard to follow, I think. Uh, then we are going to talk about our plumbing, uh, how we fixed things, how we discovered what was not working, and where we are, where we are right now, and what we need to do to actually have something that uh, that Tekton builds Tekton just by itself. So first, what is Tekton? Uh, Tekton is a set of projects, sets of components to provide a set of shared and standard components to build CI/CD system on top of Kubernetes. Um, there's a bunch of projects and we discover our needs while doing it. Uh, it's governed by the Continuous Delivery Foundation and contribution are coming from Google who created the project. Red Hat, CloudBees, IBM, Pivotal, Salesforce, like there's a lot of interest and a lot of contributors. And I think now we are over 100 contributors or something like this. Uh, Tekton in a nutshell, so we are extending Kubernetes API using CRDs, so hopefully, who knows what CRDs is? Okay, I don't need to explain, cool, perfect. Um, this allows you to build uh, your images or anything else using Kubernetes standard Kubernetes, Kubernetes tools or at least your tools. Um, everything runs into containers, so your jobs, your, like anything you will run as part of your pipeline will run into a container. So this is something you have to keep in mind while writing tasks, writing pipelines. And even Tekton itself runs into a container. Uh, you can deploy on any platform. Obviously you can deploy on Kubernetes because it runs in Kubernetes, but you're not limited to deploy on Kubernetes. You can deploy on anything that can have a binary in a container and targeting something. And we provide a cool CLI that we are hoping we will be able to show. Yeah, so there are a few uh, concepts or CRDs that are introduced uh, with Tekton. Um, the core uh, one is the step, which is basically um, a, con a command which is executed in a container, so it has access to usual things like volumes, environment variables, config maps, etc. Um, so this is uh, the first concept we introduced in, in Tekton. Then we have the task. The task is a CRD, so it's a new resource for Kubernetes, which is uh, a list of uh, sequentially executed steps. So these are all containers that will be executed one after the other within a pod in Kubernetes. And the pipeline, uh, which is um, a graph of task. So we can have tasks running in parallel or sequentially. It all depends how you define dependencies between uh, the tasks in terms of uh, resources. And this is the next uh, CRD that we define. It's pipeline resources, which is an abstraction on top of a common type of um, uh, resources that um, you may want to use in your pipelines, like a Git repository or uh, a Docker image or um, even like a Kubernetes cluster, let's say you want to deploy to a Kubernetes cluster, you need credentials, so that's your resource for that. Um, all these uh, tasks, pipeline resources allow you to define uh, the static structure, if you will, of your uh, pipeline. But to execute it, to actually run it, you need extra resources. The pipeline run is what you need to trigger a pipeline. If you're working with tasks, uh, you can use a task run to trigger a task, run, a task uh, directly. Otherwise, when you trigger a pipeline using a pipeline run, all the corresponding task will be uh, task run will be created for you. And this is just a visualization of what I just uh, talked about. So the green boxes are uh, the tasks, and then you see the steps within. And the I and the O represents inputs and outputs, and you can uh, associate tasks in this way using uh, outputs. So, for instance, the first uh, green box is an output which is used as an input to the following task. That means that the, um, when the DAG, so the graph 
of the pipeline is built, it will make sure that the, first the, the second and the third task are not executed until the first one is complete. Um, yeah, as Vincent said, uh, Tecton is not just pipeline, so pipeline is the core component, but along the way we introduce more and more projects. Uh, the catalog is uh, shareable task definition, so we want to have tasks that everyone can reuse and they uh, embody best practices. So for instance, if you're developing in Go, you can have a task that uh, you use to build your Go code or to run a linter on top of it or run unit tests. This is a solved problem, it's embedded into a task, so there's no need for everyone to go and rewrite it again and again and again. The CLI, we'll show it later, is a cool CLI to control your pipeline and tasks. Uh, triggers is a project that um, allows you to define, um, to define a way that you can trigger your pipeline runs. Instead of triggering them manually, you can respond to events and then uh, create the resources that are required to run your pipeline run and trigger it as a response to event. Typical use case, uh, webhook from yeah. GitHub or GitLab or so. You can use the operator if you want to install and upgrade Tecton, and then we also have a cool dashboard. Right, so let's dig into the actual plumbing that we did. So first, we need to define what we mean by plumbing. I think it's uh, the same for everybody, but the definition is that the system of pipes, tanks, fitting, and anything needed to run water supply, heating, and sanitation in the building. For us, uh, for IT, it means continuous integration, release setup, test infrastructure, uh, any scripts that we would need to run our thing, uh, anything that helps us manage our project in GitHub or in maybe even in Slack. So this is why we call the project plumbing. So our initial plumbing uh, on Tecton was uh, coming from Kenative because historically, uh, Tecton pipeline, Tecton CD pipeline, is coming from Kenative. It was a uh, spin-up of uh, Kenative build. Um, and so it, this means it runs only on Google Cloud. Uh, it makes an heavy usage of Pro. Uh, and we initially shared scripts, containers, images, and literally everything with Kenative. So once we got out of the Kenative organization, we needed to do things our own way. So, um, is any of you familiar with Pro? A little bit. Well, a few. Um, it's a CI system which is uh, very popular in the Kubernetes ecosystem because it's used by Kubernetes itself, as well as Knative and many other projects in, in the ecosystem. Um, Pro provides a set of microservices uh, that can be used to uh, provide CI CD to your, to your project. Uh, Pro is optimized yeah, for Kubernetes and, and for OpenShift as well. So, as I said, it's a set of microservices. Um, the main ones, where we say hook, um, it's what listens for web hooks and then delegates the job to be done depending on the event that was coming in to different plugins. Uh, the Plank, it's uh, the microservice that is responsible for the uh, life cycle of a CI job that provides um, a dashboard where you can see uh, what's going on. Uh, Tide is a component that ma manages uh, merging uh, commits into, into your uh, repository, which is uh, not an easy job to do because you, have, you may have many commits and try to merge at the same time, and if you're not careful, you're breaking yourself. Um, Horologium is used for uh, cron uh, type of triggers, and Sinker is basically doing garbage collection. Right, so uh, just two quick uh, screenshots. This is what Pro looks like in one of the most recent uh, 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 release or commit. Uh, this is the, the actual um, dashboard of Pro. And when you want to look at the logs in Pro, you, we are using uh, an app called Gubernator, which talks to the um, Stack driver API of Google Cloud, I think. I'm not sure, but I think yeah, this I think is so. how it works right now. Uh, there's another project in Kubernetes to uh, build something better than Kubernetes, but I don't think we're using it yet. So, with that, so this is where we started. 
just having pro and and not doing anything on Tekton to build Tekton. And the, the end goal was to build Tekton using Tekton. So we started to think about what do we need to do to be able to build Tekton with Tekton. Okay. Uh, and the first thing was uh, let's own our scripts. So the first step towards independence from Kennedy was let's create the plumbing repo. Let's document how it works. Let's uh, create our own script so that we can maintain and we don't uh, depend on what Kennedy does. And let's also build our own CI image so that when we, I don't know, when we update or when Kennedy updates its image to add a new component, if we don't need it, we don't really need it in our image. So, sorry, I don't think I think my mic is weirdly doing. Anyway, uh, and the second step was trying to do a release uh, with Tekton using Tekton. So the goal was, uh, I think we managed to do that in the 0.3.0 uh, release of Tekton. So let's, the goal was to be able to see if uh, the version of Tekton we were using was actually usable to build our own tool. Because if it's not usable, for us to use, it doesn't make sense to, to market to others. Um, so we had to define some, some uh, tasks to build tests and in the Go code to publish images and to generate uh, the release YAML that user will use to install the Tekton pipelines. Most of the tasks we wrote, we, we send it to the Tekton CD catalog because they are reusable for any people. And then it was about creating the pipeline, doing the pipeline resource, uh, executing the pipeline run and, and do it manually at first. And this is what we did. It's almost executable anywhere. Uh, I say almost because we still depend on Google Cloud for a lot of things. And, and it's, it should run anywhere, but uh, the publishing part needs Google Cloud. So this is something we'll try to fix someday. We're working on it. Yeah. No, it's already better. So, um, and then I guess we sat down and said, tried to, to build a comparison between what we have, Pro, and what we're trying to do, Tekton. And um, yeah, so there is a lot of red and yellow on the right side. <laughs> but for Hook, um, we introduced the Triggers project we mentioned earlier. And together with Interceptor, it allows us to do something similar that we have with uh, Pro and Hook. So this is actually improving and is getting towards the green now. Um, for the job execution lifecycle, well, we have the pipeline, which is following the life cycle of your job, which is perfect. We don't really have um, um, a dashboard for seeing, CI sys for seeing the CI runs. We do have a dashboard um, at the moment, uh, but it's um, kind of have a problem on exposing it because it's um, the right uh, access to to when, the pipelines yeah, and currently our dashboard is um, free for all so when you see the dashboard you can create pipelines and stuff like this so we can reduce the, the exposure but uh, we need to improve the dashboard to be actually usable in like a real public environment yeah. because everyone needs to have access to, yeah. to this information for Tide, um, we don't really have a solution today, or, or a logic. We do uh, with triggers and uh, using cron jobs uh, from Kubernetes. Um, hopefully, we show it later. And um, gar garbage collection is becoming uh, a more pressing issue for us now that this has been running for a while, yeah. and we are getting towards the thousands and thousands of uh, task runs in our <laughs> clusters. So, um, so um, Pro is a concept of agent, which is used to execute a certain uh, Pro job. And uh, Pro already had an agent for Knative build, so a new agent for Tekton pipeline was uh, introduced. So we started uh, using that for our initial release job. Um, the agent will provision the resources, the pipeline resources, um, specifically the Git resource, which points to the SHA that, uh, Git SHA that we want to, to test. And it will also generate the pipeline run, and this is what the prior configuration would look like. Um, but yeah, so this approach uh, worked, but uh, we had a few issues, issues with that. First of all, um, logs are not integrated 
So we couldn't use Kubernetes as we used before with this new solution. So we were, okay, running uh, jobs, but we couldn't have access to the logs unless we went on the cluster and look at the, at the logs there directly. And also we had a problem with the dependency. Uh, Prow from uh, test infra depends on the old version of Tecton 031. And as we moved along, uh, we changed, uh, we introduced new features. So we wanted to actually use the latest version of Tecton always because, well, that's what we're trying to do, uh, dog food uh, ourselves. So, um, and this was a problem. And there is a lot of inertia because test infra is a big, um, is a big repository and a lot of people depends on it. So making a change there is not something that you do from uh, today to tomorrow. And just to add, um, the, the incompatible thing right now uh, is fixed temporarily. So Pro in like since one week ago is now depending on 0 0.8.0, .0, but once we reach 0 0.9.0, it will take time for Pro to update, so we will always uh, run like different versions. So we wanted to like for Tecton use only Tecton. That way we can even run nightly easy if, if we want. Yeah. So the next step after trying out the pipeline agent of Pro was okay. Now, if we really want to use um, to use our own. Um, version of Tecton, we need to deploy Tecton, the latest version, somewhere. And you can't really deploy two versions of Tecton on the same cluster, it doesn't work. One will take over the other one. This is how it's designed right now. We could improve that, but that was not the initial goal of, of Tecton. So we decided to have a new cluster just dedicated to dog footing. Uh, this has some advantages, right, right? The first one is we can, it's a grid fill experiment, so we can do anything we want. We can break everything. It shouldn't matter, at least at first. Once people from the project will depend on this, we, this will change, but. Uh, we can introduce services in parallel to Pro. Uh, we can uh, experiment with log collecting or whatever and, and do not need to run anything that Pro runs. It's risk-free environment. We can, we don't, we, we're not afraid of breaking anybody right now. We can incrementally roll out new production services. We can uh, incrementally roll, roll out um, Tecton. We are even thinking of uh, being able to, um, once our nightly release works and is well tested, it could, the, the dog foodie cluster could run a nightly build of Tecton all the time. So that, that will work and yeah. yeah, we can log down in, in the end. Yeah, so um, one of the first issues we had to, to solve there was that we want logs to be available uh, publicly to everyone. Um, and we didn't have a solution for that, so we built a small um, application that provides basically us with access to, uh, to the logs. Um, at least we're, for Google Cloud, it still um, yeah. depends on the stack driver. <laughs> Uh, for certain jobs, we also have uh, an alternative. Uh, like for the releases, we also have the ability now to um, pull the logs and store them um, in the bucket along with the release files for the nightly releases so you can access them with uh, no dependency to anything else. Right, and then the next part, so the release we would do were either uh, manual or on the pro cluster. So the step we started to work on was doing releases pro-less, so just Tecton, using Tecton, using cron jobs, and using TKN. Uh, you should be able to do a release of Tecton or any project in the Tecton CD organization. And so we ended up um, doing that uh, using triggers, so the triggers release like one month ago was the best thing that happened. Um, and now we are trying to, so this is the, um, the, what uh, a nightly release generates. So there's the release YAML you can install, and there's the logs of the builds. Um, and now we are trying to do everything as code. So we are trying to put in place inside Tecton some rules, guidelines, and best practices on how we can embed the, any task definition and any pipeline definition 
inside your own uh, repository. This is a work in progress, but we're trying to do that. Um, this is it. Um, yeah, so then after that, um, we, we have a number of images that we rely on. So we said, well, we could use Tecton to, to build them. Um, so we, we do that today. Uh, so we continuously build our images. We have a nightly job, one for every image that, that we depend on in our infrastructure. And we just use uh, triggers with cron jobs to, uh, to trigger them. And there is a cool thing that uh, you can also trigger them, um, trigger them on demand that we show that uh, later. We just have a small problem with garbage collection. Um, another interesting thing um, we are doing, um, we still rely on Prow, even though we are, uh, even though we are building more and more on Tecton side, we still have a production Prow that we depend on heavily. Um, and we had the issue in the past that we changed the configuration of Prow and we forgot to apply to the cluster. So we started doing CD of Prow configuration, but using Tecton. So we have a job, an hourly job that runs every hour and uh, deploys uh, the latest uh, Prow configuration. And the next thing uh, that uh, we want to do is then start deploying uh, the Tecton resources we rely on as well uh, on a regular basis um, from the plumbing uh, project and then also from the other Tecton projects so that we uh, incrementally CD everything that we rely on. Uh, the last thing that we want to, to get to is to deploy, continue to deploy the Tecton services themselves and run them from uh, the nightly releases on the production cluster. We're not quite there yet. No. <laughs> uh, yeah. So l let's talk about uh, what is missing right now and what is our future work, and then we'll show a, a small demo. I, I have this. I don't need to play. So uh, right now uh, we are missing CI with Tecton. So. It's definitely possible to do, but right now we any project in the Tecton CD organization relies on pro jobs for the CI part. So any any build on the PR are using pro. So this is something we need to fix. Um, using triggers, interceptors, and stuff like this, we can do it. But we are just trying to find the best way to 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 do that uh, in in a way so in the way that we give. Um, not power, I don't know the word I'm looking for, but like each project should be, uh, should own its task and pipeline. So we need to find a, a good way for doing this. Um, we need some testing for plumbing. So right now we are, because we are in like a risk-free risk, risk environment, we can do some stuff without really have, uh, really test our resources or service configuration. And, Sometimes we end up with like the release, the nightly release not working for two weeks because, because we didn't test something. Uh, this, this is something we need to fix. We need to have some pro deck like dashboard. So the Tecton CD dashboard is a good candidate for this. We just need to work more on making it usable in our environment. We need some chatbot integration, although we are trying, we, we are, we're gonna demo something around these lines. We really need tide-like management or integration, so something that would, once the PR is ready to merge, would check if it needs to be rebased against master, rerun the builds, and then merge. So this is something we are missing, and maybe we should integrate directly with the tide service or write our own. This is something we need to decide. Uh, dashboard I already told about it. Uh, on the actual codes, we need to make tests more portable. So uh, pipeline is, uh, some of the tests in pipeline are trying to push images and, and do something with the images that are being pushed during a build in the test. And those rely on GCR right now. And we would like to be able to run those in any environment on OpenShift CI, on IBM Cloud, on wherever you could have uh, um, registry. Yeah. If it does their work in that area, but they're yeah. still to go. Yeah, yeah. and so uh, in the same uh, along the same line, vendor neutral tasks. So having as less as possible G Cloud dependencies, and later on having yeah CD the plumbing service, so monitoring services, 
tracking version, uh, being able to roll back, and all of these things. And um, along the way, we found that we missed some uh, bolts or some features and even some, some projects. So there are things that we need to add to Tecton to make it more usable. That is actually what we wanted to find out with this exercise of doing dog fooding. Uh, one use case that we found um, a lot of is um, it would be good to have finally type of closes. So say, okay, well, I ran this task, but whatever happens, I still want to do this at the end. And we have, need support for output parameters. That is something that we can emulate with buckets now, but we need to have more native support for that. Um, optional inputs would be really helpful to um, make tasks more reusable um, and same for resources. We are working on notification. This is in the design phase, or it's actually designed and needs to be implemented now. So we have uh, some simple version of that that allows us to do asynchronous uh, connections between pipelines, but it's not really notification. Something we talked about, and it would be good for CI, is to be able to use tasks by reference. Um, because especially when we want, when, because we, we have the CI um, as code in the repository and the infrastructure defined as code in the repository, um, when we want to test it, we need to be able to say, well, use this specific version uh, of this task, which is actually only available maybe to the CI system. So we want to be able to refer to it using a, maybe a Git URL. And yeah, there are other features like uh, hooks or loops into the uh, task, so things that need to be happening in a task or a pipeline in the different point of the life cycle, or that allows us to allows us to run the same task multiple times on with a, an array of inputs. And yeah, for the demo. Um, so the goal of this, the demo is to show our latest uh, experiments. So. When I say latest, it's like today's experiment. <laughs> um, so the goal was to be able to emulate what you can do in Pro. So in Pro, you can do commands uh, by uh, commenting on the GitHub issues or on the GitHub um, um, uh, pull request. Yeah, and one of the things that we, we, we said we want to do is to be able to lock down the environments, which means that we need to be have access to all the functionality that we build with Tecton without having the need to go on the cluster and having credentials to go on the cluster and run commands there. And this is a, a good way for certain use cases. Like we build this, um, maybe I need to, hopefully this is readable now. So we built, we built this Mario bot and we can ask him, oh well, Mario, please build us this uh, image and we provide the. So this is the path of the. The path of the, yeah. Of the image. Well, or the Docker file in this case, and and then the name of the image we want to to build yeah, with the tag. And so this uh, generates um, it triggers a webhook, which is then handled by um, triggers, and it goes into an interceptor. The interceptors validates that the token uh, is valid, so that it's actually GitHub that is talking to us, it's not, not any other third party. Um, so I'll just do, and then uh, this is the, the dashboard which is hooked into the um, dog fooding cluster. And yeah, so there is a new build that is started. And it's running already? And it's running and it's building the, the image and pushing it to the, um, to the Docker, uh, sorry, to, to, yeah, to our Docker registry. Uh, on in Container registry, yeah, sorry. And yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, it's gonna push it at some point if Kaniko wants it. I don't know if my mic still works. It doesn't work, okay. It's, it's gonna work. <laughs> <laughs> It's, it's just. Yeah, it was completed, so it's pushed. Yeah. We have a few. 
to you. Yeah, and thank you. So if, if okay, yeah. it works again. Yeah, if, uh, yeah uh, so come and join us if you, if you are interested in, in Tecton project, any Tecton project. I think we are, we are trying to be a welcome, welcoming community. And if you have any question, I think we have yeah, four we, minutes. We, yeah, so we, we have time. Oh, here we go. We have like actually six minutes okay. and you just saw a working demo in the conference. That's not something you see every day. Uh, right? Yeah, no, I mean, that was, that was pretty cool. So, yeah, if you have um, any questions, I will try to run the mic. Questions, questions, questions. No questions. We have time. Uh, anyone? No problem. Oh, yeah. well, There's a question. Oh, there. here we go. So I just wanted to ask, like, what was the, the big motivating factor for um, moving off of the um, prow and the existing sort of infrastructure that's there? Um, I, I, I'm going to talk for me. And, and because my, yep. one of my motivators was to, to use, to make sure that the product we were building was useful and would uh, would fit our needs because if it doesn't fit our needs, it's not going to fit anybody needs. So that's that was the first one, and then it was about uh, Pro is like a complex uh, complex piece of software, and 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 we wanted to have something simpler, and and that was the second goal. But the first one was to validate that what we are doing is yeah. actually something that works. Yeah, I agree. That's awesome. More questions? Nice you talked about dependencies on GKE. Um, how does it work now with something else like EKS, uh, bare metal, whatever? Like, what is not not the dog footing, but just Tecton in general? So, Tecton, you, you should be able to run it anywhere you can create new CRDs. Uh, um, the dependency we have on GCR. On plumbing is really just because we are using GCloud for, yeah. for we are using GKE for our clusters and stuff like this. But Tecton itself has no dependency on anything, so yeah. you should be able to use whatever your tool is, whatever your provider yeah, is, and and if you need to push images or to use I don't know for if you you need to use uh, to deploy something on on GCloud, you would use the GCloud uh, some GCloud images <coughs> if. Uh, you need some CLI on AKS or whatever, you, you would create an image or use an image that already exists and it should work the same. Yeah. So we, we actually do use it Tecton on different clouds and there's no, I mean, there, there are a few um, things like uh, uh, access to, to the cluster that may be cloud specific. So we had started discussing about maybe we should run our CI test on different clouds, but that involves getting more um, resources donated to the CDF, and then we can consume. But it's something that we're, we're discussing, yeah. Yeah, because right now, uh, I think, I don't know for IBM, but the, the, all the CI that runs into uh, Pro is also run uh, against, GKE is also run against OpenShift on, on Red Hat uh, infrastructure. I don't yeah. know if IBM does something like this. I hope so. <laughs> uh, one more question. Two more. One more. Hello. Um, maybe it's kind of out of topic, but can you describe what is the relationship between uh, Jenkinix and Tecton? Because I, I've heard that Jenkinix is based on Tecton, so maybe I don't know if you have more info to share. I mean, yeah, so Jenkins X is using Tecton as runtime, so. Uh, the, the YAML you write in Jenkins X to define your builds and some triggering and some stuff like this is getting translated to Tecton resources and then Tecton handles the rest. Yeah. And then they add other values on top of it, the environment and stuff, but they're using like, uh, it's the same way Kubernetes use some CRI implementation. Uh, uh, Jenkins X is using uh, Tecton as yeah. Or, or CloudBase Core, they have the alternative, like they, they can yeah. switch. 
Right. Maybe, maybe yeah. they can, I don't remember. And if I can add something, I mean, this is an example that with the dog fooding, we are trying to do everything with Tecton because we want to make Tecton better, not because we think Tecton is better or anything. In fact, uh, we are building, as, as you have seen, uh, multiple components. And the philosophy is always to make small components with a small footprint that do one job well and that you can pick and choose. So you can do all Tecton, but you can use any other CI CD system using Tecton as an engine for the pipelines. You could even use triggers to create resources that are not necessarily Tecton resources, for instance. So. Yep. All right. Um, thank you very much again. That was thank really, you. really awesome.